Good morning, friends. It is Tanya at Thrifty Treasures, and today is Thursday, and it is a super cold and rainy day here in Houston, Texas. It's about 45 degrees. I'll flip the camera around in a second to show you guys what the weather looks like. But um, today I'm kind of going to do like a vlog right along. So I'm going to um, go to Goodwill and then I am going to a church garage sale. It doesn't start until 10 o'clock of all things. So um, yeah, just drop the girls off at school. So, um, and I just got some gas. It is freezing outside, it's so cold. So um, yeah, if I find any goodies, I'm going to show you guys. Yeah, so pretty cold and rainy. The kids are hoping it gets cold enough to where it will actually snow, but um, I doubt that it happened. We haven't had any snow here probably in about 11 years, so it's been a while. So I also forgot to say that um, today is going to be so busy. Oh my goodness. So we are going to be having a Christmas feast with Madeline at school today so we'll be going and eating lunch with her and um, then I've got to do a little bit of shopping I'm going out with some friends tomorrow night and the ladies will be having an ornament exchange so I was thinking about where I could get a fun ornament and I was thinking what about Starbucks so I'm gonna um, run in Starbucks later on and see if they have any cute ornaments because I haven't collected them in a while but um, Several years back, I would always get the little mini, uh, like the little mini coffee mug ornaments, and I think I have like two or three of them. Uh, so I'm wondering if they still make those. But I thought that would be a nice ornament that somebody might like. And um, you know, the kids only have um, the rest of this week, and then all of next week, and then that's it. They're like out for the Christmas holidays, and so um, I really need to start thinking seriously about my Christmas shopping. I mean, there there are a couple gifts under the tree, but um, yeah, my daughter keeps asking, when are we gonna have more presents under the tree? So I definitely need to be doing some more shopping. So um, yeah, I'm gonna take you guys with me to do all that. <laughs> okay, so I just popped in Starbucks. I uh, had a little bit of time to kill and I got, uh, I did find an ornament. I'm gonna show you in a minute. So. I got a um, Americano, so I think it's called Cafe Americano. Anyway, it's like my favorite drink. It's not like, you know, coffee can get that like, um, is it called tannin or whatever taste about it? Anyway, uh, I never find that with the Americano and I believe it's just um, espresso shots with uh, steamed water. I think that's all it is and I get half and half in it. But it's really good, so that's my favorite go-to hot drink. So let me know what your favorite Starbucks drink is. I would love to hear whether it's hot or cold. I'm always looking for a new drink to try. So let me show you the ornament I got. I'm so glad I can check this off of my list of things I needed to do today. Isn't it cute? So see, it's just a little bitty um, coffee mug. And um, it's so cute. It's a ceramic ornament. And what did they cost? I think it was $7.95. But yeah, super cute. This must be their cup this year. I can't really tell. Let me look. Oh yeah, it's what their cup design looks like this year. Let me look again. Yeah, that's what it is. So, super cute. So, I'm sure one of my girlfriends are going to love that. Um, and now I am off to do well. So, I'm about to run inside PetSmart and get Skippy and Coco some food. Um, I did go to Goodwill and that uh, big church sale, and I'm going to show you my goodies here in a little while, probably after we have lunch with Madeline. Okay, so I just left Petco and um, I got the dogs some food. So now the dogs are eating uh, two different types of food, so I have to buy two different bags because um, Coco is like 10 years old now and she's a senior. So um, this is our second bag of getting this. It's called Wellness Complete Health Small Breed for a uh, senior. This bag cost about $16.99, but the food is so little bitty. It looks like little cat food and she loves it. She can eat it so much easier than the big pellets I buy for Skippy. And um, 
Um, so I highly recommend this too. See, it helps your hip, hip and joint health, digestive health, and weight maintenance. But Coco's never been overweight. She's always been pretty skinny. She looks big because of all of her fur, but she's not uh, overweight by any means. Now, Skippy, on the other hand, <laughs> he might be a little overweight. Uh, so he gets this potato and duck formula by Natural Balance. Um, this one runs about $17.99 a bag. And they're also um, pretty small pellets, not quite as small as the one for uh, cocos. See, look, oh look, so I show you a little picture of them. They're like little triangles, and they look, I swear, they look like cat food. But anyway, so Skippy gets this. Um, he was eating this whenever we got home several years ago, so I've just kept him on this, and um, he really liked it. He loves this food. So, and Coco liked it too, but. Um, She's getting old, so I feel like I need to be feeding her senior food, plus a food that's a lot smaller for her to eat as well. So, um, now I'm going to be running over uh, to pick up uh, my husband real quick, and we are going to head to Madeline's school so we can have Christmas uh, lunch with her. So, I might film a little bit in there. We'll see. <laughs> oh my god, I forgot to tell you the funniest thing. So, when I was walking out of the store, I had, you know, those hands in my bags, and it was all heavy, and I was in a hurry to get to the car. Well, um, this guy says, hey, ma'am, a dollar says I'll eat one of these treats. And I was like, huh? <laughs> so at Petco, they have like, um, like a doggy bar station, like with little treats, um, little baked treats, and you can like build your own bag and whatever. And I was like, huh? <laughs> like I was literally out the door and he was like, hey, ma'am, a dollar says I'll eat this treat. And I was like, huh? And the lady who had just checked me out came over there and, and she was like, why, why would you need a dollar? What, why would you give her, what's going on? I was like, I don't know what's going on. And I just left. So, um, I thought that was really weird and random that that guy said that, uh, bless his heart. I don't know what, he must have been really hungry <laughs> if he wanted to eat a dog treat, right? Oh my goodness. So, um, okay. Off I go to pick up Kurt. Hey guys, okay, real quick, I'm going to show you everything I picked up. Um, I didn't get a ton of stuff, but I am going to show you everything that I got real quick. So, um, let me show you what I picked up at Google this morning. So, I picked up this bag of crystals here, and I paid $4.99 for them. And I thought maybe they would use the lamps, but I do not see any holes in the very top there, and not even on the side either. So, um... <clears throat> I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but they were just too pretty to leave behind. Maybe I'll do some kind of a pretty decoration. You know, they're just really pretty crystals. So, um, look at that. A whole bag of them for $5. Not too bad. <clears throat> and then I picked up uh, some really cute vintage pierced beaded, like, uh, I guess, I don't know, what would you call these, like, uh, tassel earrings. And these were a few dollars. Oopsie. Okay, be still. Oh, my camera does not want to be still, you guys. Okay, so here they are. Really pretty. <clears throat> and then I got this super cute little dolphin brooch. And they have like little uh, emerald green eyes. So that's real pretty. Then I got a fun little statement necklace. It was about four dollars. Really pretty. I'm always looking for a pretty fun jewelry to wear um, whenever we do our jewelry detective show. And this one was also about four dollars. It's a real pretty cross. Um, it's huge. You can see it's like there's my hand up against it. But real pretty. Um, but I don't think it's a brooch. I think it was meant to be worn Okay. <laughs> meant to be worn like a pin because I'm just going to go with it because see the pins right there are like that so I don't know maybe it's just like a like a pin brooch I'm not sure uh, let's try this one more time I have my camera sitting on a bottle of uh, decoupage no Mod Podge <laughs> so it must be pretty slippery I am so sorry you guys I'm really trying hard to hurry up and get this done okay so, and that was all I really got at Goodwill this morning. So, I went to that church sale, and I got a couple of vintage purses. Oh my goodness, they're so pretty. I paid $5 each. 
Okay, this is just out of control. Let's try that. My phone case must be slippery. Um, and this is a K gimbal, gimbal, gimbal. Anyway, I've not heard of that one, but um, I'll do some research and I'll probably be listening to that. I love the vintage handbags, you guys. This one is my favorite. <clears throat> Look at this, isn't it gorgeous? So it's got a little um, pin type closure there. Then I don't know what you call that, like a little snap. <clears throat> and this one is by Wahlborg. Hope I'm saying that right. But there is the brand on that one. And it says $15 on it, but um, I only paid five each for these. Let me stuff the tissue paper. Now I did pick up some jewelry. I don't want this video to get super long. So real quickly, I'm just going to show you uh, what I got. Um, so, you know, when you go to sales like this, I don't know about you, but I am just, I'm, you know, I'm just grabbing everything I like that I see. And then at the end, I'll kind of go through everything. Well, I got caught up in the moment and forgot to go through everything again whenever I was done. But, uh, so I spent $20 on all the jewelry. So, and I've already kind of looked at it. I don't think anything is real uh, gold. So I got these. These are really cute. If I can get the bag open. These are like little uh, horseshoe scatter pins. And one of them. Oh no. I just noticed one of them is missing. It looks like it's missing a stone up top. That's a bummer. Oh well. This might become craft jewelry. So those are real cute. I mean and by craft jewelry I meant jewelry that I'll just craft with. Um, I got this vintage looking necklace, and I think it really kind of looks like two birds. Let me know what you guys think. And I didn't see any um, designer on the back or anything. But I think it kind of looks like two birds. Uh, gold tone. That. <clears throat> Here's another vintage necklace. <clears throat> this one looks like that that's really pretty again i didn't see any kind of designer on the back uh got a real pretty flower brooch looks like that and <clears throat> oh i did get this piece right here is marked barclay so i feel like i can make my money back just on this one piece i've sold barclay before the brand and it's a um, good vintage brand to pick up. So this looks to be like a little uh, mini necklace either for a child or perhaps a choker for a lady. <clears throat> and it's got the little hang tag on there. And it does say Barclay. So that is really pretty. <clears throat> Um, I got a couple vintage little wristwatches. This one, I cannot read what it says, and I do not have my loop with me, if you can believe that, but it's real pretty, stretchy band. I picked this up. It's like an anchor. I think it's some kind of a navy type uh, pin. It says H24N on the back. Um, let's see. I picked this up thinking you never know again. I just completely lost uh, all sense of my tools to help me with things and didn't even put my magnet on it. Of course, it sticks like crazy to the magnet. But like I said, when there's a lot of people and you get in a hurry, things just happen so fast. These vintage little clip earrings, they're marked Hong Kong. Oh, and this piece, I really like this piece. I'll definitely get some money on this one while I hope. But this one is a Mickey Mouse Loris wristwatch. So that is really cute. Uh, let's see what else I got. <clears throat> oh, this is interesting. Oh my goodness, this is getting long. Let me hurry up. So I got this little pendant. And the back says, Made in Italy. And, um... I'll go ahead and uh, wrap it up here. I got a whole bunch. I mean, like one, two, three, probably about five, five or so of these uh, vintage ring watches. So one of them I think is marked Harmex. 
And then there's just a whole bunch of little like um, jeweled ones in there too. So that's really all I picked up. Nothing, no real major home runs or anything like that. But um, I did have fun running around. We went and, like I said, we went and had a Christmas uh, feast or whatever, dinner, lunch with Madeline up at her school. I'll throw in a couple picture, pictures here at the end and show you guys that. So um, I hope you enjoyed my little ride, ride along and my uh, quick little small haul here. So please subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video and share it with your friends. And we will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, everybody.